Okay, so this video is different than the last one. The last one I used on my personal computer because I was able to record what was going on on the screen of my computer. And I had to do that on the personal computer because I am not able to do that on a school computer. Uh, it's been disabled from my tablet. Maybe it works on some of the newer computers, but I don't have one of those for, for work. This is being created through PowerPoint and it allows me to do videos right here. So what you're going to be seeing here is a series of screenshots and I'm really sorry if I'm boring you all with this, but I'm creating an office mix. So you'll notice the tabs up at the top here. There's a tab called mix and you're going to want to click that. So you would want to do this with a PowerPoint that you've already created. Um, and then you're just adding your video and sound over top of it. So once you're in Mix, you would then click on Slide Recording right here. Um, after you do that, you will come to the next slide. Once you've hit the Slide Record button, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. Again, this is a series of screenshots. So a microphone option is going to come here. If you have a newer computer, laptop, or, or um, tablet, this is automatically going to populate for you. If you have an older computer, you might have to plug in a USB microphone. Uh, your media center might have some. If not, you can get them on Amazon for less than 15 bucks um, if you're interested in getting one. Or you could just borrow a computer from the media center because they typically have some updated uh, laptops and tablets that you can use. The other thing is you can select the camera. Now, I selected no camera because it's bad enough you have to listen to my terrible voice. I don't want to add in uh, a terrible video of my ugly mug, but that video would populate right here and then you can move that video anywhere you want it on the screen. So I could put it here where I put that thing X or I could put it here or I could put it dead center if I wanted to be the star of the show. Um, also down here, this is where I select what color I want to use and it again, it's a screenshot so it's coming up black but I had changed it to this green one here, and that's what you're seeing as I mark on the computer. Um, so when you're ready to record, you just hit the record button. You say and, and video yourself, whichever you choose to do. Um, and then when you're done, you hit stop. You could click the next slide button and just go from one slide to the next. I, however, typically hit stop in between each slide because I always make mistakes, so I have to redo slides, and I find it's much easier if I only have to redo a slide, and that only costs me a, a couple minutes, versus if I have to redo the whole PowerPoint, which could cost me um, more time. Once you're finished recording, it's gonna bump you back out to this page. Once you've created that, you now need to turn it into a video, and you can do that one of three ways. One is upload to Office Mix, and the advantage to that is that Microsoft has provided this website where you can keep all these videos and you can require students if you want to log in to view them. So you can see who in your classes have viewed the video, how long they watched the video for. If you embed questions, um, they can answer the questions there and you can get the test statistics right away. The disadvantage to that is it's one more website that you have to manage and that the students have to manage. But again, you can create the link for that and post it on It's Learning or you can post it on Edline for the next two months. Um, so you kind of eliminate that, but that's one option. Another is publish to Office 365 video and that's gonna put it in your portal. Um, as long as you know where to access that, it, that works fine too. I personally, however, export to video. So what that does is it saves it as an MP3, I'm sorry, an MP4 file on my computer. I then upload it into YouTube um, and once I've uploaded it into YouTube, I embed it into its learning. That's just how I prefer to do it, but you can do it any way that you want. Um, hopefully this information about Office Mix has been helpful. Um, it's really user friendly, especially because most of us are familiar with PowerPoint. So it's really only point and click and Microsoft is so user friendly and we we're so accustomed to using it that it's really not that difficult um, and it's a real easy way to use things that we've already created and not reinvent the wheel. Um, I hope that this has been helpful and again I'm really sorry that I wasn't there um, but my poor kid he's sick and he wants his mommy and I get that so I hope you have a great spring break 
And um, if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to contact me. And again, Laura, I'm really sorry that I'm not there.